still here battling the same enemy. At no point in time has Nigeria experienced peace as a united Nigeria, a country that should have been built on a common future. Nigeria has been a failed state from the beginning till date. It, it was not only a failed state from the beginning, but the attempt to continue to unite Nigeria has made always the brick wall. I want to inform Biafrans today that we are facing enemies. The attack on us has never been as it is today. And I want to inform you today because Nigeria has been a failed state from the beginning, which is why the people of Biafra want to break away from Nigeria. 
and the exit the evil entity and the British establishment and set up a free democratic state with freedom of religions and tolerance for all religion with directly elected parliament and independent judiciary. We want to have a nation that is going to respect human rights. We want to uh, have a nation that will have a multi-party system where human rights are respected and protected. We want to also to inform our international collaborators, both the current and those that are going to come in future, that the Biafra people will continue to make it very clear that the UN Human Rights Convention, the Convention on Right of the Child, and the Agreement on International Laws will be among the first international treaties to be ratified by the Biafra Republic immediately Biafra gained independence. Unlike so many nations today, especially some of the Islamic nations, some of these nations have refused to ratify most of these human rights laws. I want to inform Biafras today when we talk about the election that is coming, a failed on arrival election that will never take place in Biafra territory. The legal framework for the conduct of the elections in Nigeria comprises of this fraudulent 1999 constitution as amended. The Electoral Act of 2010 as amended. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as amended. The Act of 1998. The Nigeria Broadcasting Commission Act. The Cyber Crime Act and the guideline issued by the INEC. And of course, the new amended electoral laws. These are the laws that some of you who do not have any knowledge about Nigeria are, you know, flying on social media today. But let me shock you. Let me inform the world and those that have piqued their interest on Biafra issue today that the constitution take the precedence in that any provision in any act or regulation that is contrary to its provisions is null, void of all effect. To the extent of such inconsistency, I neck some of you today the INEC is the main administrative and election management body that is mandated to supervise the conduct of election. Today, that same INEC has been overrun by the jihadist government and those who want to continue the Usman Donfodio conquest of the rest of Nigeria. They are in charge. That is not why I'm here today. I want to inform the world why the Biafra people are leaving Nigeria. I want to inform the international community today the reason, or some of the reasons why we are exiting Nigeria. In Nigeria, political parties disburse finances for the conduct of their electoral campaign. They also accept donations from organizations and private individuals. The Electoral Act may regulate campaign financing. Political parties are meant to make their expenditures and funds open to scrutiny by ANEC. I am just telling you what you have as a law 
regulating electoral process in Nigeria. Who can then forward these details to the National Assembly? But as I'm talking to you today, none of this law has ever been enforced. Fulani hijacked. And why you have your laws, they do things differently. So I want to bring your attention in this State of the Nation address today to some of the compelling issues. That is the reason we can never allow election in Biafra land come to 2023. It is going to be an exit door for Biafra to emerge and be restored. The campaign, according to Nigeria law, which does not exist anyway, in practice, according to Nigeria law, the campaign spending of a presidential and a governorship candidate are limited to one trillion. One trillion naira is what is, you know, you can spend to become a president in Nigeria. One trillion. And that is about 2.6, 2.45 billion dollars to become a president in a country that many people are living below one dollar per day. We can never ever be part of a such country again from next year. I want to inform you also that to become a governor in Nigeria, you have to spend about 200 million, which is about 526 or 550 thousand dollars. The infringement of these laws come with impunity. They infringe these laws with impunity. In Biafra, we are going to do things completely differently. The infringement of the spending limit attract a maximum fine of one million naira for the president or for the presidential uh, aspirant while you are infringing a law of over a trillion naira if you are guilty you will be subjected to pay one million naira as a fine it is an incongruous law the law that were never enforced for one day and the one year imprisonment the governors have 800 nobody has ever been indicted or faced any law in nigeria not in the history of nigeria i want all of you to understand that we continue to have attack as we have the State of the Nation broadcast each time. So, the laws also criminalizes vote buying and vote selling. Both those who receive and those who give money in return for vote, they are all liable on conviction to a fine of 100,000 naira. Nobody ever, ever in the history of that evil country has ever been convicted, prosecuted for the breach of electoral law. Today we see even when the people are campaigning in a failed state called Nigeria, they are sharing cars. They are already sharing cars to become a presidential flag bearer of some of this corrupt political party in Nigeria. You will spend trillions of naira. You are going to give billions to be able to secure the presidential ticket of the ruling party called APC. And we, the Biafra people, have concluded that we are not going to be part of this corrupt system come to 2023. Still on why Biafra have decided to exit Nigeria and why we are not going to allow election to take place in Biafra land. 
But I want to inform you today, the compliance with this legal provision remain challenged by a widespread lack of enforcement. There are two major problems with political financing in Nigeria and the political system. We are going to correct this in Biafra land. In Biafra state, in Biafra Republic, we are going to do the opposite. One is the definition of expenditure. The law regards any expenditure incurred before the notification of the date fixed for the election concerning services, rendered or material supplied before such. This law has never been enforced by Fulani because they are the one in charge. The jihadist government continue to control this law. They control the judiciary, they control the military, they control the police, the navy, the uh, immigration, the custom, and everything. A total and a complete implementation of the 1989 Abuja Declaration. This narrow definition of election expenditure often serves as a legal loophole that can allow potential candidates to spend considerable amount of money before the official start of the campaign. As I'm talking to you now, you, some of you in your villages, you don't have road, you don't have hospital, they have spent trillions of naira and the campaign have not even started. So Nigeria is a scam. They continue to bank the money that is to be used for the development of the state, waiting for the next four years. That is the business that made a Kurimadu today to be looking for how to save his daughter and he ended up in jail. That is the reason why some of the governors are being harassed immediately they leave office because their business in the office has never been for the interest of anybody. It is for the next four years. This has crippled everything in Nigeria and because the Nigeria state itself supported because Fulani who have laid the foundation and, the, and the, the, the policy of the system of government in Nigeria, it is called the nomadic system. On purpose, they subjugate the people to poverty. Going forward, these provisions are also often breached during the election with impunity, campaign with political office aspirant resorting to a third party spending. In Biafra, we will adopt a true democratic practice. This is the assurance we are giving to the international community. On our security, on our security, we must stop the advancement of the aggression of our killers, the terrorist that is being funded by the Nigeria state. The time has come to stop the advancement. When we have been able to bring almost all the agitating group together, I want to inform Biafra people today that we have been able to bring almost all the agitating group together for the security of our land. We have been able to bring almost all the agitating group under the IPOB autopilot under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. This is a great news. It has never happened in the history of Biafra struggle. Today, I can categorically inform Biafra people that almost all the group is now under the umbrella of the autopiloted IPOB for the restoration of Biafra because the chaff has been separated from the wheat. So we must stop the advancement and the aggression. Our common purpose now for the all securities in Biafra land is to stop the advancement of our killers. We have been able to bring almost all this group together today for the very first time. The entire Eastern Security Network 
is none other one umbrella, which is a sign that Biafra has come. Our right to existence is under serious attack and threat from the Usman Danfodio and the Fulani Jihadist movement in collaboration with the Boko Haram infiltrated and controlled Nigeria Army and other security agencies in our land. The command attacks on Biafrans, on innocent communities, the command attacks on villages, they burn villages, they burn our businesses, they burn our shops, they kill young men, they kill our children, they kill women, and they kill our elderly people. With the disturbing images coming from Biafra land today, it has become imperative for every Biafran to rise up to defend our land. This particular state of the nation broke us today is a wake-up call. To this end, we call all those heavy donors, both old and intending ones, who because of some criminals in the IPOB that was bought over by the enemies of our freedom to destroy the Biafra restoration because of envy, jealous and greed, they backed out of the sponsorship of this movement. And some of them say they are never going to support the movement or the and they cannot come out. This particular address today is targeted at you. If you are one of those who have been a very great funder and heavy supporter, financial supporter of this movement from the onset, all the money you have put in this movement, you don't want them to go in vain. The time has come that your sacrifices will bring result. So those of you who said you will not come out again to support financially until Mazin and Mikano is released, we have come for you today. That those people that made you to make such decision, they are no longer in charge of this movement. That transparency, accountability has become a motto of this particular movement until Mazin and Mikano is released. We call on them to not wait any further as the chaff has been separated from the wheat and your fund and support is needed now than ever. In this modern age, we the Biafra people no longer sit and watch a systematic ethnic cleansing of our race in Nigeria. We can no longer sit and watch as our people, our women and children are being slaughtered on daily basis by the Fulani Jihadist movement in Nigeria Army Uniform or Police or DSS. So therefore, we call on all Biafrans all over the world to come to the aid of Biafrans. The time is now and the time has come. We are soliciting for 50 men and women of integrity and caliber that will be ready to fund this movement with $10,000 monthly between now and December 2022. Biafra and the freedom is very expensive. Having been able to succeed in bringing every group to one umbrella, the time is now that we call on you those of you who have been born, those of you who are in different position in all over the world, those of you who have been funding this movement from the onset until our leader was kidnapped, the time is now we call on you. That we need just 50 men and women of Biafrans, 50 men and women of Caliber that could fund this particular movement with $10,000 every month, between now and November. So that the world may know that you can't kill us again like you did 55 years ago. It doesn't mean that without you, our land will not be protected. But with you, 
it is going to go a very long way. Between now and December 2022, from July to December, we need just 50, 50 Biafrans, 50 Calibers, 50 men and women who will be ready to fund this movement with $10,000 every month. This call has become necessary. And those 50 men and women is hereby requested to contact any of the Umada from Madame Azuka to any of the Umada or to myself. And let me remind Biafra today, the time for talk is over. I can't end this particular State of the Nation broadcast without stressing and pointing out of the state address without comparing the situation we are into today to the Middle, to the Middle East crisis between the Israel and Palestine. I will always make references to this crisis. Because during the time of the Israelites, when they were fighting to liberate themselves, the Jews, they were scattered all over the world, their own businesses in America. They funded their own liberation and their own freedom. The same thing is going to happen to Biafra. But you that have withdrawn your support because of the criminalities that, have, that was in IPOB, uh, which led to the kidnapping of our leader, because it was because of those people that surrounded him that made you to withdraw your support. It is time you come up and you come forward so that you don't allow all your sacrifices in the past to be a waste. It is going to be a very big disappointment between you and your God. Nigeria and Biafra people is like darkness and light. Our demand is to draw the attention of the free world to the Biafra independence effort and the path toward the independent state of Biafra. On this note, with this short message, is targeted at you, those who have what it takes to fund this particular movement. The time is now. Our freedom is fast approaching. It needs your support. May God bless you. May God bless, protect you. And may God bless the entire Biafra. And may God bless all our gallant men on ground. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel, and also click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video, you will get notified.